Hello and welcome to Yak Quack Slips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 7 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. And I've just realised pretty much every single episode I start in the friggin' hairdressers, don't I? Anyway, quick recap on the last episode. We got this chap to join our crew. So that's Haggis McMutton and Edward Van Helgen. But now we've got to get Cutthroat Bell to join. And we've got to get that gobstopper off him. And I'm pretty sure we've got to get it off him to give to Blondebeard so that his tooth breaks so that we can give his tooth to him. Kind of makes sense in my head because he wants gold. So, how can we get a gobstopper off him? I don't him? think he'd like that. Right. Um, let's talk to him. Right. You sure you want to, don't want to join my crew? How do you break into the hairstyling? How would you break into the hairstyling Talk industry? to me a little bit. I saw an ad to join a barbershop quartet. Got a problem with that? No, that must be very rewarding work. What's that supposed to mean? Mean? Just that, you know, cutting hair and um, singing must be just a lot of fun. It's like a party every day. <laughs> Some days I just don't know how to contain my joy. I get giddy and the laughter bubbles out of me like a sparkling fountain of mirth and gaiety. Okay, new topic. Wow, that was interesting. Do you really enjoy being a barber? It's a steady income. Pirate stories. Got any? Okay, here's a story. I started out as a crewman on the raging tightwad, sailing out of Puerto Pollo. The captain was a master treasure hunter, a diviner from some ancient secret society. He had some weird fifth sense when it came to finding objects of value. Okay, don't you mean sixth sense? Supernatural powers? It's going to be scary. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's carry on. Don't you mean sixth sense? No. By some cruel trick of nature, he was born without taste buds. But his other senses took over and gave him an uncanny ability to find treasure. We left port without a map, guided only by the captain's keen senses. We spent the first week going around in circles until we realized the crew's gold earrings were throwing the captain off. After we tossed all our jewelry, gold coins, and belt buckles overboard, we got back on course. Right. Did you ever find any treasure? We sailed for two years, and had finally started back to Plunder Island. But just as we started to doubt him, he paid off. We found sunken treasure right off the coast. Wait a second. Was it an enormous pile of jewelry and gold coins and belt buckles at the bottom of the bay? Exactly. How did you know that? <laughs> I just had a feeling. Wow. Um, right, we want that jawbreaker. Nothing I love more than a good jawbreaker. Me too. Yeah, see? When you look at it that way, we're really not all that different, you and I. Whatever. Do you know any more pirate stories? Want the story about how I slit the throat of the annoying little pirate who kept asking me questions? Is something troubling you? Right, um... Do you really enjoy being a barber? Not sure what to do here, guys. Steady We've asked that before. We've asked that before. Right, he wants a jawbreaker. Doesn't want to join my crew. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Right, is there anything here I can click on? What did that say? Oh, jar of, jar of combs. Um... Anything that you could eat? I mean, we've tried the maggoty biscuit, haven't we? Maybe there was something in the danger coat. Pack, pack of gum! Oh my god, am I that stupid? Oh no. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, damn it. I thought that was it. Um, is there anything else that you can eat? Glove, chicken grease, maggots, biscuit cutter. He's a vegetarian. Did you say anything about that before? Uh, no. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Right, come on then. Let's go. I'm not sure what to do with this chap. If you have any ideas and I haven't figured it by the end of the episode, please feel free to drop a hint. A fountain? Let's have a look at the fountain. I'm going to go to the Cabana Boy in a minute. Which I think may have something there. If we go to the Cabana Boy. Here's the plan, yeah? Cabana Boy. And then... Where's he going? Mm, no. Right, Cabana Boy over here come on boy and then we'll go over to danger cove pretty sure i can't get on the beach because he's not gonna let me because i haven't got a membership card 
Yes. You can't go in there. That's for members only. So how do I get a membership card? I haven't got anything here, have I? Reservation slip? I don't think he'd like that. No. Okay. Well, let's just let's just talk to him again. See if he says anything about a membership. Hi. Yes. Um, have me a towel. Let me have some of that cooking oil. Thinking of joining club. I was thinking of joining a club for snotty rich folks. Where do I sign? Well, it's not that easy. First, you'll have to get on our waiting list. That could take several months. Then there's the credit check, references, family history, the oral presentation, and the written test. Mostly dealing with Spanish treasure, pillaging and golfing in the greater Caribbean area. And then finally, our 14-step interviewing process. And then I'll be in your club? No, I'm afraid after that, I'd have to blackball. Um, well, he's not going to let us have any of those, is he? What if I just washed up a bit? Then could I join your club? It's nothing personal, but club policy states that I have to exclude anyone whose odor or presence might disgust or offend the other members. I'm sure you understand. All right. Please, can I join your club? There is no way this club would accept. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to get... We're going to have to get something from somewhere, aren't we? Bus cart. Mm, no. Nah. It's full of dirty dishes. Ice bucket. What can we have an ice bucket for? Is there anything that we need to freeze? Chicken grease? Maggots? I shouldn't waste good maggots. <laughs> Chicken grease won't do any good with that. Weenie roaster. Can't go that way. Towels. Um, cooking oil. I can't. I can't get anything. Deep fryer. Can I give the chicken grease to him? Use that in the deep fryer. Chicken grease won't do any good with that. No. There's nothing here except for an ice bucket. I think I might have to go to Danger Cove and have another quick look around. Unless I can make a membership card out of pirate literature. I don't want to cut that. Reservation I don't slip. want to cut that. I don't want to Psychopedia. cut that. Wikipedia. No, nothing. Right, I'm going to... I think I'm going to go... I'm just thinking this ice bucket's got to be done with something. Nothing really. Paste. <laughs> Put the paste in the ice bucket. I can't paste that. No, okay. But, um, we Right, okay. We probably need the paste to stick our own photo on a card. Because that's what that's an adventure game thing, isn't it? Create your own ID. Been done numerous times. Right, what did I say I was going? I was going to go to Danger Cove. So let's go. Come on, Guybrush. Run around. Come on. A bit quicker. So I've got to get the Gobstopper off the chap. And I've got to get a membership card to get into Danger Cove. Use the boat. Not Danger Cove. Um, that beach. Has to be something here. Otherwise, there's no point in me being here, is there? Fruit. I'm not in the mood for fruit. Um. Pitcher. Tire swing. Hay. Can I get some hay? I don't want any smelly old hay. Right, let's use a pea, sh pea shooter. Can we have a look at it? It's a hollow reed. Can we use that with with something? I can't use the reed. I can't use the reed. I can't use. I can't. Use, I can't use the reed. I can't. Yeah, use he, can't, the reed. <laughs> he can't use the reed. All right. That doesn't take wooden nickels. Maggots. Can we spook? I shouldn't waste good maggots. Chuck maggots everywhere. I shouldn't waste good maggots. I shouldn't waste good maggots. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. Um, magic wand. I don't think he'd like. I don't think he'd like that. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect on that. The 
magic wand has no effect on that. Oh, guys, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Um, let's have a look at the pirate literature. See if there's anything, any clues Chapter there. Chapter 2. Leg irons or flogging? The age-old question. I must have looked at it in a previous episode. Chapter 3. Mermaids or manatees? Does it really matter? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a copy of piracy. The LeChuck way. Oh, that's it. It's a copy of piracy. The LeChuck way. Half eaten buttery biscuit. Helium balloon. I don't think he'd like that. Maybe the that. monkey wants a balloon. I don't think he'd like that. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon with that. Tire swing. Can I talk to the chimp? I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. What? Where did I say I was going to go? No, oh, there's mashed potatoes. Butter, tasty buttery biscuits, place settings. Can I just walk out? I can't. Oh, this is frustrating now. Bananas. Can I pick them up? I'm not in the mood for bananas. They'd see me. Yeah, porcelain. Oh, tickets. What's that? Tickets. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. Oh, so he's into... He wants to go to the theater. That's interesting. Magic wand on the theater the Magic wand has no effect on that. No. Should we go to the theater again, I guess, then? If he mentions that. Can't go up there, can I? Oh, I can go up there. Oh, interesting. Um, is this just going to get me tarred and feathered again? I've had enough tar, thank you. Mm, no. Can I just open the door? They'd torture me for sure if I went in now. Can I, can I like, knock on the door and then run away? There's a hold. What's in the hold? Anything? How strange. The hold is full of broken luggage. I don't think I can do anything here. Right, I think I'm going to go back to Puerto Pollo. Come on then, Guybrush. I mean, I'm still kind of stuck thinking what the heck to do, really. Um, let's go out here. We went to the Swamp last episode, or was it the beginning of this one? I don't remember. I think it was the last episode, wasn't it? Nothing there. Nothing in Danger Cove that we can seem to get. Puerto Polio. Nothing there. Cabana. Fort. That's it, isn't it? I can't go anywhere else. Right, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to here. Let's talk to this chap here. I haven't talked to him for a while. I can't drink from that mug because there's a big hole in the bottom. Can we plug it up? Magic wand? The magic wand has no effect on that. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Hey! That mug's for paying customers only. Um, do we have anything that we could swap? Pie pan? This pie pan won't do any good there. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. There's nothing around here I've missed, is there? Disclaimer. <laughs> Five cents. Um. Right, is the name good? I want my money back. Give me some of that lemonade, you little chiseler. My money back. Why? Was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. Well, if you're not dissatisfied with our product, I can't justify giving you a refund. I'm sorry, but it's company policy. But thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, there's dye here, isn't there? Is there anything that we could dye? 
It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. Do we need to dye anything? I don't think we really need to dye anything. I shouldn't waste good maggots. No, okay. That just takes me back out of the map, doesn't it? I'm struggling, guys. I'm a bit lost. Do we need a bottomless mug for something? I don't know. Let's go in. Well, we don't want to go in there because that just takes us to the other side. What's this? Walkthrough speaker. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Mm, no. Uh, hello? I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. <laughs> What's this flyer? Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Oh, I've got a, I've got a letter. Can we um? Who, do, who can we give that Feeling to? Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go talk to this chap again, see if we can do anything. Um, podium, let's use the podium. It's the Mater D podium. Very quiet patron. Button, chicken. I mean, again, I think I'm kind of done in here, too. Reservation book. Did I miss that last time? It's the reservation book for the restaurant. It looks too heavy to carry around. Do I need to... Nah. Do I need to do anything? That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. Okay, let's go out then. Okay, I think I've exhausted everything. I'm going to go back to the hairdressers. And just tr try to give all of my inventory to... What was his name? Cutthroat Bill? Here we go. Right, so what can we give him? Paste? I mean, it kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Um, if we look at him. It's a salty pirate, sucking on some candy. Can we... Can we punch him? You know, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. <laughs> I mean, I didn't see this coming. I just wanted to smack him around the face. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on. Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we finally got a jawbreaker. I mean, freaking hell. It's taking quite a while. It's taking like quite a while in this episode. Uh, I'm going to go and say what I've said from episode 3 onwards. I'm going to get this jawbreaker and give it to Captain Blondbeard. So his tooth will break and I will give the tooth to the other chap, Cutthroat Bell. It kind of makes sense. I can't see any other gold things. He keeps going on about his tooth, doesn't he? Right. Oh my god, that is gross. Let's have a look at it. It's only got a little bit of spit in here on it. <laughs> Disgusting. Right, let's try it. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth. But it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. 
Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Oh, okay, and I guess I have to give him the bubble gum now. Chewing gum, where is it? Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. <laughs> and it gets you right here. Okay. Now what? Oh, there's a tooth. Ah, oh, pop it. I don't want gum all over my hands. Um, can we use scissors? Use the scissors to pop it. Come on. I'm afraid I might slip and cut it. Oh, no, what? Anything here that I can just... Serrated bread knife. I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. Oh, come on. Mm, no. I don't want gum all over my... Glove. The glove won't work with that. I just need to pop the bloody bu bubble guy brush. Come on, skeleton arm. I can't use the skeleton arm with... Helium balloon. I can't use a balloon with that. I don't think he'd like that. Can I talk to him? Uh, excuse me. No. Um... Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Hi! I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Ooh. Beach Club in Smorgy. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter, I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. What? What happened to your membership card again? It seems I lost it while I was cooking. So there's a membership card somewhere. Maybe it's in this chicken. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Gross chicken. Let's have a look. I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. But there might be a membership card inside it. No, this chicken is too hard to be damaged by mere metal. Um, where else could it be then? This serrated knife won't work here. No. So he's lost his membership card in in the in the in the what do you call it? <laughs> Chef place in the kitchen. But I think we need to. Right. Okay. We've we've got to pop this balloon somehow, haven't we? Can we? I mean, this is gross, but can we? I don't feel close enough to Blondie <laughs> to be chewing his gum. Hmm. Magic wand. The magic wand has no effect on that. Hmm. Okay. What have we got here? Chicken, gr chicken grease. Eat the chicken grease. Mm, greasy. That's disgusting. Right, how can we pop this bubble without him being scared that he might stab him? Pie pan. Come on. This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Right, well, we've got a little bit further. I reckon that the membership card, maybe it's on this guy. He's dead. I don't want to touch him. What can you tell me about Grim Fandango? <laughs> Anything? I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but this guy's lousy at marketing. <laughs> well, we've got to get that... We've got to get that out of his mouth. And we've got to get a membership card, which is, in, I guess, in some food? He had a sneezing fit. He said, didn't he? Let's just remind ourselves quickly. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Come on then. What happened to your membership card again? 
It seems I lost it while I was cooking. Okay, let's see what's cooking. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Right, so we're going to leave it there, guys, because I'm getting a little... I would say stuck. I mean, I was stuck for a heck of a time, but we're making slow progress. Any hints? I'm welcome to having hints on this at the minute because I'm not sure where to go early in the next episode. So uh, don't tell me, but yeah, a little nudge wouldn't 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 hurt. And of course, please hit that like button. It really, really helps. Until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever. Whatever it is you're doing right now. <laughs> Take care.